uh, what was a big topic before the pandemic uh, broke out for us, which was the idea of a great reset, uh, the World Economic Forum's meeting, for example. There was a lot of reader questions on this. One of the readers is asking you to update us on the Great Reset story and the World Economic Forum's meeting. Um, and he says, or she says, there's been an eerie silence. There haven't been any announcements, neither by media nor commentators. Well, that's right. Uh, and the reason there's been an eerie silence is because they're getting everything they want. In other words, if, if you weren't getting what you want, you'd be banging the drum and having new conferences and writing, Klaus Schwab would be writing new books and all that. The fact that they're not saying anything tells you something, tells you they're getting what they want. What do they want? They want uh, central bank digital currencies. Uh, they want more SDRs. They want something you know that looks like world money. But above all, they want digital money. They want to get rid of cash. Um, because if you have cash, you have degrees of freedom. You can spend it the way you want. Uh, there's no, not necessarily any kind of real-time tracing of your shopping preferences or whereabouts. Um, and uh, uh, it, you know, it, it's it's a very flexible medium. Um, and if the government wants to take it, they're going to have to break, get a warrant and break down your door. Um, but if you have digital money, uh, they can see everything. Uh, by the way, this already exists in China. Everything I'm describing, and look, look for all of this, I mean, I'm no no different. Um, most of my financial transactions are digital. You know, I get, you know, I get paid. It, it's wired directly to my account. I use credit cards. I use debit cards. I use whatever Apple Pay or uh, do online transactions. So that's all digital. And if somebody's nosy enough or has access, and I guess people do, you can figure it out. We, we've actually used. Uh, intelligence gathering, you can actually use a combination of uh, facial recognition software, GPS off a cell phone, and credit card information to track somebody minute by minute. Um, but if you were completely digital, you could do that. And China is just about there. Um, and I always say, when you want, if you want to slaughter you know, sheep, you have to herd them into a pen and get them into the slaughterhouse to slaughter them. And that's what digital money is. You got to herd everybody into a digital uh, world at the bank and at some bank, and then you can slaughter them with freezes, uh, taxes. Uh, you know, I could say something like, well, gee, what if one political party wanted to freeze the bank accounts of anyone who voted for the opposition candidate? Well, that sounds absurd. People who didn't that get sounds... vaccinated. Yeah, well, th well, there you go. People didn't get vaccinated. I mean, the point is, we're not that far from that today. We are at, we, I mean, you know, I'm not talking about China, that they're worse, but Western democracies, and I'll include Australia, but Canada, the United States. Uh, the funny thing about the United States is, for this purpose, there is no United States. We, we have 50 state regimes. And I understand in Australia, you know, Victoria might be different from New South Wales, although not that much different from what I read, but... Um, but we have we have free states like Florida. I mean, I've I've had some business in Florida recently, and I, I fly down to Jacksonville, and I get off the plane, I feel like I can breathe. I'm like, hey, there's no masks. I don't have to show my papers. Uh, I can go to any restaurant I want. Uh, I mean, Washington D.C., for example, the mayor just announced the other day. Uh, most people who who got vaccinated, they got these mRNA, you know, this genetic therapy stuff. You had to get two doses. Um, and then if you got the Janssen, that was one dose. Uh, and then they said, okay, I'm vaccinated. I got my papers. Here I am. Um, but she just issued a decree. And by the way, where do mayors get off issuing decrees? I mean, they're, they're supposed to be like public servants. But she issued a decree saying that she changed the definition of vaccinated. You now have to have two doses of the mRNA plus a booster or one dose of Janssen plus a booster. So <clears throat> even if you've had the vaccines, you're not vaccinated by her definition unless you've been boosted. And the booster itself can't be more than, I think, three months old. So in some cases, you'll need a fourth. Uh, and you've got to document that you can't go to Russia. People in Washington have a simple solution, which is to go into Virginia. It's not that far away. Or Maryland. And they're, and Washington's just dying you know, commercially. Uh, how can you deal with that? But uh, um, yeah, so that's, uh, that, that's a problem um, uh, all over the world. But, but from the World Economic Forum's perspective, um, digital money, increased surveillance, uh, neo-fascism. Um, basically, the public policy response to COVID, to the pandemic, has been a template for how to implement dictatorship, even in democracies. That's what the World Economic Forum wants, and they're getting it. That is uh, an eerie and excellent answer.